हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंडियन पॉलिटी सीरीज टॉपिक इज द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया इन दिस वीडियो मोर देन हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन आर डिस्कस दीज क्वेश्चन आर ऑफनली आस्क इन मेनी कंपिटेटिव एग्जाम्स एज वेल एज मेनी एकेडमिक एग्जाम्स सो बी विद दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड दिस वीडियो इज वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू If you didn't subscribe my channel yet please hit the subscribe button click the bell icon so that you can get the notification of my upcoming videos Which of the following appointments is not made by the president of India Chief of the army he or she is elected by the president chief justice of india he or she is also elected by the president of india chief of the air force he is also elected by the president of india but speaker of the lok sabha is not elected by the president of india he or she is elected by the members of the lok sabha so the correct option for this question is option b for what period does the vice president of india hold office the correct option is option a 5 years which one of the following does not constitute the electoral college for electing the president of india our president is elected indirectly and for the election of our president the electoral college is made you must know that who are the members of the electoral college let us see one by one elected members of lok sabha this is correct elected members of the legislative assembly of each state they are also the member of electoral college elected members of the legislative council they are not the member of electoral college of president elected members of rajya sabha they are also the member of electoral college so the correct option for this question is option c which of the following is not true regarding the payment of the emoluments of the president first see the true statement then it will be very easy for you to find out the untrue statement they can be reduced during a financial emergency this is true they are sown separately in the budget this is also true they do require any parliament sanction this is also true because according to the article 112 of the indian constitution the emoluments of the president require parliament sanction they are charged on the contingency fund of india this is not true because they are charged on the consolidated fund of india so the correct option for this question is option c who among the following holds office at the pleasure of the president this is very important question for many competitive exam so governor of the state is appointed at the pleasure of the president option a in case a president dies while in office the vice president can act as president for a maximum period of this is 6 month the maximum period would be 6 month only minimum age for presidentship is this is 35 years a governor of a state is appointed by the president on the advice of prime minister option a the governor of a state is appointed by the president on the advice of the prime minister the president gives his resignation to the he gives his resignation to the vice president of india option c when can a president use his discretion in appointing the prime minister 
when no political party enjoys a clear majority in the lok sabha then the president of india can use his discretion in appointing the prime minister option a is the correct option which article of the constitution empowers the president to appoint a commission to investigate the condition of backward classes in general and suggest ameliorative measures this is article 340 a person who is not a member of parliament can be appointed as a minister by the president for a maximum period of this is 6 months option d the president nominates 12 members of the rajya sabha according to let us see the options their performance as office bearer of cultural society this is not correct the recommendations made by the vice president this is also not correct their role played in political setup of the country this is also not correct their distinction in the field of science art literature and social service this is correct so the correct option is option d now assertion and reason type question during the term of office no litigation can be instituted in any court of law against the president of india this is correct reason president's office is above the constitution this is not correct so the correct option for this question is option c a is true but r is false who acts as the president of india when neither the president nor the vice president is available when neither the president nor the vice president is available then the charge of the president is taken by the chief justice of india option b how many times the president of india can seek re-election to his post in india the provision made that there would be no limitation for re-election of the post of the president so the correct option is any numbers of time option d who among the following has the constitutional authority to make rules and regulations fixing the number of members of the upsc this is the president of india option b the union council of minister is appointed by the president of india on the advice of the prime minister the prime minister's advice is compulsory for the president while selecting the union council of ministers article 78 of the constitution deals with this article is also very important for the exam perspective so you must know about this article article 78 makes the provision to give power to president to send advisory messages to the parliament so option d is the correct option what is the sequence number of mrs pratibha patel as the president of the republic of india this is the 12th number numbers also often we ask in the exam a proclamation of emergency issued under article 352 must be approved by the parliament within one month option c is the correct option you also need to know what is article 352 Article 352 makes the provision for the national emergency imposed by the president of India it must be approved by the parliament within one month of its declaration who has the constitutional power to declare a geographical area as a scheduled area this is the president of india the president of india only has the constitutional power to declare a geographical area as a scheduled area the maximum duration for which the vice president may officiate 
as the president is that is 6 month he can't officiate as the president more than 6 months who administers the oath of office to the president of india before he enters upon the office chief justice administers the oath of office to the president of india before he enters upon the office correct option is option a the president can proclaim a state of emergency in case of let us see the options failure of constitutional machinery in a particular state this is correct threat to financial stability of the country this is also correct external aggression or internal disturbances threatening the security of the country this is also correct so the correct option is all of the above option d which of the following is the discretionary powers of president to appoint prime minister to the leader of majority party this can't come under the discretionary power of the president of india because the president of india has to appoint prime minister to the leader of majority party only to summon the parliament here he can use his discretionary power to return a bill to the parliament with objections oh here he can't use the discretionary power to appoint the members of council of ministers here also the president of india has to get the advice of the prime minister so here also he can't use his discretionary power to assent the bill referred by governor this also doesn't come under the discretionary power of the president to detain a bill here the president of india can use his discretionary power to ask the prime minister for such information related to any advice here also he can use his discretionary power to say the council of ministers for reconsideration of any advice here also he can use his discretionary power so the correct option is option d 2678 he represents the nation but does not lead the nation this dictum applies to whom of the following this dictum applies to the president of india option b the indian president is the indian president is the titular executive as the king or queen of britain Which one of the following president of India has been the governor of Bihar? Dr. Jakir Hussain, option C. The constitution authorizes the president to make provisions for discharge of duties of governors in extraordinary circumstances under the article 160. Which of the following qualifications is not essential for a person to become the vice president of India? Let us see the qualifications one by one. He must be an Indian. This is one of the most important qualification for becoming the vice president. So this is correct. He must be qualified to be a member of the Rasabha. This is also one of the most important qualification for the post of vice president he must not be less than 35 years this is also one of the most important qualifications for the post of vice president he must be a graduate this is not the important qualification decided by the constitution of india for the post of vice president because no educational qualification is decided by the constitution of india for becoming vice president president and any political executive in the election of the president the value of the vote of the lok sabha members differs according to the number of votes in member represents option c 
if the president returns a bill sent to him for his assent and the parliament once again passes the bill in its original form then the president has to give assent to the bill there is no provision to seek the opinion of the supreme court and once again return the bill for further reconsideration and can ask for the referendum on the bill so the correct option is option b which article of the indian constitution empowers the president to consult the supreme court this is article 143 the union executive is headed by the president of india this is correct there is no limitation on the power of the president this is not correct so the correct option is option c a is true but r is false the only instance when the president of india exercised his power of veto related to the this was related to indian post office amendment bill during the presidency of gyani jail singh the president can make laws through ordinances only on subjects contained in the concurrent list no it is not correct under no circumstances this is no also not correct no certain subjects even when parliament is in session this is also not correct during the recess of the parliament this is correct to elect the president of india which one of the following election procedure is used the election procedure which is used for the election of president of india is system of proportional representation by means of the single transferable vote option a which article of indian constitution says that there shall be a president of india the articles related to the president's power president's tenure and ordinances pardon power is very important for the exam perspective so you must know the article related to the president of india the article related to the president of india where the constitution of india makes the provision for the president of india is article 52 who appoints the chief election commissioner of india the chief election commissioner of india is appointed by the president of india the president's rule in a state can be continued for a maximum period of this is 6 months but after 6 months also it can be extended up to the period of 3 years but after 44th amendment of the constitution the president rule can be extended to the maximum period of 3 years only in two conditions first condition is when national emergency is imposed in the country and the second condition is when election commission can't conduct the election according to the present scenario what qualifications should be to become a president of india let us see the options one by one 35 years of age this is correct he should be eligible to be elected as a member of raj sabha this is not correct he should be eligible to be elected as a member of lok sabha must be an indian citizen this is also correct so the correct options are option a and c d option which of the following is incorrect about the powers of the president of india the president should accept the advice of supreme court this comes under the power of president of india emergency powers it is also given by the constitution of india to the president power of extension of president's rule in a state this is not given to the president of india 
the power of extension of president rules in a state is given to the parliament of india the parliament only can extend the president's rule in a state president can accept or reject the advice of the supreme court this is also the power of the president of india so the correct option for this question is option c how many times the president of india declared the national emergency three times national emergency is mentioned under article 352 Three times it was declared in 1962 during Indo-Sino War, in 1971 during Indo-Pak War, and in 1975 due to the internal disturbance declared by Fakhruddin Ali Ahmed on the advice of the Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. Which bill must be introduced on prior recommendation of the President? this is money bill money bill only can be introduced in lok sabha on the prior recommendation of the president the president of india does not have the right to let us see the options one by one give pardon no he has the power to give pardon remove a judge of supreme court no he can't remove his judge of supreme court the judge of supreme court can be removed through the impeachment process of the parliament declare emergency yes he can declare emergency pass ordinances yes during the recess of parliament he can pass ordinances so the correct option is option b remove a judge of supreme court Rashtrapati Bhavan was designed by this is also very important question for many competitive exam it was designed by Edwin Lutyens option C The president can deliver an absolute veto to which of the following bills private members bill this is correct he can deliver an absolute veto to this bill constitutional amendment bill no he has no power to deliver an absolute veto to the constitutional amendment bill so the correct option is option a how can the post of president be vacant let us see the options on expiry of his tenure okay by his resignation okay only on the commencement of impeachment in rasba no so the correct option is only a and b who addresses the parliament after the commencement of the first session after each general election the president of india can address the parliament after the commencement of the first session after each general election which of the following president died during his term at the office this is very important question for the exam perspective dr jakir hussain dr jakir hussain took office on 13th may 1967 and he passed away on 3rd may 1969 he was the third president of india he was succeeded by v v giri which of the following statements is not correct let us see the statement one by one the president is the head of military forces of india this is correct the president can appoint a commission to investigate into the conditions of scs and sts this is also correct the president can declare any area as scheduled area this is also correct the president of india is the chairman of the finance commission this is not correct so the correct option is option d the executive actions of the government are carried out under whose name it is carried out under the president's name 
which one of the following is not constitutional prerogative of the president of india this is returning a financial bill for reconsideration the procedure of impeachment of the president of india is quasi judicial procedure what does respite mean in terms of powers granted to the president respite means in presence of a special circumstance like physical disability or pregnancy the president can award a lesser sentence than the one that was originally granted option b is the correct option Which one of the following articles of the Constitution vests the executive power of the Union in the President? This is Article 53. Which article of the Indian Constitution prescribes eligibility conditions for re-election to the post of the President of India? This is Article 57. what does pardon mean in terms of the powers granted to the president this is completely absolves the person from all types of punishments and disqualification option d is the correct option which among the following veto powers is not granted to the indian president let us see the veto power absolute veto this is given to indian president pocket veto it is also given to indian president qualified veto it is not given suspensive veto it is also given to indian president so the correct option is option c match the following important incidents with the reign of president of india when they occur indo sino war it occurred during the sarvapalli radha krishnan's reign kargil war it occurred during kr narayanan reign indo pakistan war of 1971 it took place during the presidency of bibi giri uri attack this took place during the presidency of pranab mukherjee so the correct option is option a who prepares the president's address to parliament this is central cabinet prepares the president's address to parliament option d match list 1 with list 2 and select the correct answer using the code given below the list you have to match president with his or her term the term of president is also one of the most important topics for exam perspective let us see fakhruddin ali ahmed he was in office during 1974 to 1977 neelam sanjeev reddy he was in office from 1977 to 1982 dr zakir hussain he was only the president who died during his tenure so he has very short term of tenure he was in office from 1967 to 1969 vv giri he was in office from 1969 to 1974 so the correct option is option c who has the power to declare an area as a scheduled area this is the president of india the president of india has the power to declare an area as a scheduled area the nomination of a candidate for election to the office of president must be subscribed by at least 50 proposer and 50 seconders if there is any dispute regarding the presidential election it can be referred to 
Supreme Court of India. Which of the following does not consist in the power of pardon of President of India? Let us see one by one. Pardon, this is there in the pardon rights or power of President. Commutation, this is also there. Remission is also there. Respite is also there. Reprieve is also there. Detention is not there. Continuation is not there. So the correct option is option C. By which amendment bill is President's assent to constitutional amendments bill made obligatory? This was 24th Constitutional Amendment Act of 1971. This act enabled the parliament to dilute the fundamental rights. It by the Congress government headed by Indira Gandhi. This amendment came into force on 5th November 1971. Which of the following types of authority are attributed to the President of India. Let us see one by one. Real and popular. No, it is not given to Indian President. Titular and de jure. This is given to Indian President. Political and nominal. No, it is not given to Indian President. Constitutional and nominal. This is given to Indian President. So the correct option is option D. Which one of the following amendments to the Indian Constitution empowers the President to send back any matter of reconsideration by the Council of Ministers? This is 44th Amendment of the Constitution. Option D. Now, Assertion and region type of question. President of India is similar to the British king as far as his power is concerned. This is correct. Now the reason is office of the Indian president is similar to that of America. This is not correct. Correct option is A is true but R is false. Given below are two statements. Assertion is the supreme command of the defense forces is vested in the president. This is correct. The president's power as commander in chief are independent of legislative control. This is not correct. So the correct option is A is true but R is false. Which article of the constitution empowers the president to promulgate ordinances? This is very important question for many competitive exams. This is article 123. The president can nominate how many members of the Raj Sabha? 12 members. The president appoints these members for their contributions to art, literature, science and social services. What does commutation mean in terms of powers granted to the president? The president can substitute one harsher punishment with some lighter form like changing a death sentence to a life sentence. The Electoral College of President consists of elected member of both houses of parliament. This is correct. Elected members of both houses of state legislature. No. Elected members of the legislative assemblies of all states. Correct. Elected members of legislative assemblies of Delhi and Pondicherry. This is correct. So, the correct option is option D. What does remission mean in terms of the powers granted to the president? This is the basic punishment remain the same but the duration is shortened. Which president of India completed two 
successive term only one president till today completed the two successive terms he was dr rajendra prasad the first president of india who appoints the chief of army navy and air force the president of india appoints the chief of army navy and air force who of the following before becoming the president of india did not hold the office of vice president he was neelam sanjeev reddy which of the following president was appeared before supreme court when supreme court was hearing election dispute of the president he was vv giri which of the following article of indian constitution mentions the doctrine of pleasure this is article 301 Which one of the following is a part of the electoral college of the president but not the process of impeachment This is a state legislative assemblies The two union territories which have been given right to take part in the election of the president of India by the 70th amendment of the Indian constitution are Delhi and Puducherry Which president of India was called the missile man This is very easy question everybody should know Dr APJ Abdul Kalam The single intense of the unanimous election of the president of India so far was the election of Neelam Sanjeev Reddy What does reprieve mean in terms of power granted to the president this grants a temporary stay on the execution of the sentence allowing some time for the convict now assertion and reason type question the president of india is elected by indirect election this is correct reason is There is a provision of electoral college consisting of the elected members of both houses of parliament and elected members of the legislative assemblies of the states this is also correct and the correct explanation of assertion so the correct option is both a and r are individually true and r is the correct explanation of a under which article of the indian constitution can president be impeached this is article 61 the joint sitting of the house of people and the council of states is summoned by the president an ordinance promulgated by the president must be placed before the parliament within what time frame after the start of its session within 6 weeks who of the following chief justices of india acted as the president of india also he was justice mohammad hidayatullah The joint sitting of Lok Sabha and Raj Sabha under Article 108 is summoned by the President of India. According to the Constitution of India, it is the duty of the President of India to cause to be led before the Parliament which of the following: the recommendation of the Union Finance Commission. This is correct. the report of the chief ministers of states this is not correct the report of the controller and auditor general this is correct the report of the national commission for scheduled caste this is also correct so the correct option is option c at least how many days of prior notice is required for the impeachment of the president of india 14 days 
who of the following presidents of india was associated with trade union movement v v giri he was awarded by the bharat ratna in 1975 by the government of india the president of india addresses the parliament under article 87 of the indian constitution both houses of parliament assembled together among the following presidents of india who is known as the philosopher king or the philosopher ruler dr radhakrishnan is known as the philosopher king or the philosopher ruler under which article of the indian constitution the president of india enjoys the power to withhold his assent to any bill passed by both the houses of the parliament article 111 under which article of the indian constitution did the president give his assent to the ordinance and electoral reforms when it was sent back to him by the union cabinet without making any changes article 123 on the advice of prime minister indira gandhi who proclaimed a state of national emergency on 25th june 1975 president fakhruddin ali ahmed who among the following is appointed by the president attorney general of india is appointed by the president controller and auditor general also is appointed by the president governor of a state is also appointed by the president so the correct option is all of the above thank you for watching